the C Mixolydian mode or scale. Um, I'm asking the question, is it the perfect major scale? Well, if you've been following my series on um, modes, been doing them a little bit more sporadically now, lately, but um, you know that we're in the key of C and that the major is the Ionian. That would just be, you can call this uh, a major scale or it's the Ionian mode, same thing. The only difference between the Mixolydian and the C major, they are the same except for the seventh note in the scale, the seventh tone. So if, if we're playing this C, the C Mixolydian mode again, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Okay, that's a B flat. Normally, if you play the major, you're playing a B because in the key of C major, there are no sharps or flats. No sharps or flats. Same with um, C major's relative minor, which would be, go down three half steps from the C note to an A minor, you got it. So, if you've been following my videos, you know how to find the... Uh, relative minor to a major scale and learn how to use that to play a lead, which is very, very helpful. And every guitarist should know that it's basic music theory. Okay, we don't stress too much music theory here, but we stress a little bit, the basic to make you a better player. Um, so to continue on with this idea, let me tell you a little bit about the C Mixolydian mode. Um, it falls under the category of major sounding modes. Ionian, uh, I just did one previously on Lydian and Mixolydian. Those are the three major sounding modes. You know, if you don't know how, what the modes are, they are based on, historically speaking, I'm not gonna get too much into it, but they had six tones to them, they're Greek names, and then they kind of just evolved over the, um, centuries to, to, to be what they are and they're just a different uh, scales of um, or different modes of of, of of a certain scale so if we're in C the Ionian is the major the next one is the Dorian and then we have a Phrygian so if you <laughs> I didn't really want to get into all this theory but I, I I don't play loud music any longer so if you take that first letter of each of each one of those words the Ionian I don't play loud music any longer. Ionian, Dor Dorian, Phrygian, Lydian, Mixolydian, Aeolian, and Locrian. So the C Mixolydian is a major sounding scale, but because you have, you're playing that B flat, it sounds more minor sounding. So let me, sh let me tell you how, show you how to, how to play it. Okay, we are on the sixth string, eighth fret, starting with the second finger. You can start with your first, but I think it, it, if you play it with your second finger, it gets you in position. Tenth fret, fourth finger, next string. Seventh fret, first finger, eighth fret, second finger, tenth fret, fourth finger. So you're playing two, four, one, two, four. Play the fourth string just like you played the fifth string. The seventh, eighth, and tenth frets with your first, second, and fourth fingers. Here we go from the beginning again. Try to alternate your picking. Now, by the time you get to the third string, you're gonna play the seventh, ninth, and tenth frets. Use your first, third, and fourth fingers. Up here to the second string, go to the eighth fret. Okay? On the fifth, fourth, and third strings, you're playing, you're starting on the seventh fret. Now you're starting on the eighth fret. 8th, 10th, and 11th frets with your 1st, 3rd, and 4th fingers, and then finish up with the C right there. So here it is again. This is why I like to start with my 2nd finger. You could use your 1st and do it like that, So, but then you get the coordination. Now, 
uh, the C mixolydian has all the same notes as an F major scale. You're just starting, if we were to play an F major scale, same notes as, six C, as C mixolydian. You're just starting on different notes, okay? So, uh, so basically, I want to also uh, give you an idea that the reason I believe it sounds like possibly the, the most perfect major scale is because it has that seventh note that is flatted. Now, now what does that mean? Well, let me show you here. If you were to write down the numbers one through eight, because there's eight notes in a scale, we're going to take all the notes of the C major, right? C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C. The first and the eighth are octaves, so tonic. So if I want to talk about, think about, about it in, like in terms of this. If you have a C seventh chord, well, you're playing the first, the third, the fifth, and the seventh, but you're flatting the seventh. So take that first note, it's a C. Take the third note, it's an E. Take the fifth note, it's a G. That's how simple it is. Get out a blank piece of paper, write down chords, uh, like one, three, five, a C is a one, three, and a five is a triad, C minor, one flat, the third, and the five. I got videos explaining more about that if, if you're getting a little confused. But this is how simple it was, and we're going to get right back into it. I took the first note. Took the third note, it's an E. First note was a C, the third note's an E. Fifth note, G. B is the seventh, but when you're playing a, a seventh chord, you're always flatting that seventh note. Doesn't necessarily mean it's going to be a flat, but in C. So I want you to think about in terms of that. You know, the, the C mixolydian mode uh, is also known as a dominant mode. But you can think about like in terms of that. That's why it's a little different than the Ionian, because you're flatting the seventh. So if you were to play a progression like C, D minor, F major seven, you can play it open with a C, a D minor, F major seven. That F major seven looks like an F, but the first string is open. What I like to do is I like to start Right there if I'm playing this mode mode scale basically the same thing so I essentially started because here we go here is our scale I don't know if I put this up here yet you start that with the second finger I'm starting right here I'm not necessarily starting on the C note you don't have to if you're in the, the key of C you don't have to start on the C <clears throat> I'm starting on a D note, which is okay. And then I'm playing one, three, four, moving up one, three, four, one. Start from the beginning if you'd like. And that's how you do it. I mean, this is just, I think, probably, oh, my favorite major sounding scale or mode, okay? I, I, I'd like to use this one over, even if I'm like in a, a different key other than C, I'll use a mixolydian because, you know, you kind of, you can even kind of use it in a, for the blues. And it, it really works. 
So I hope that gives you a, a better comprehension about the C mixolydian. That's really the last major sounding mode of all the modes, Ionian, Dorian, Phrygian, uh, Lydian, Mixolydian, Aeolian, and Locrian. So we've got two more that we're gonna cover and hope you're enjoying these videos. If you are, please um, like, subscribe, share, comment, ask any questions that you have. I'll be more than happy. I have the time to clarify any um, misunderstandings that you may have. So keep playing and have fun.